Hey everybody, Thomas Love here again, Bella Epoque Realty. I'm talking to you today a little bit about Springfield and the state of the market, what's been happening there. We are, as I've been saying for the past year and a half, in a place of very, very limited inventory in the Springfield Historic District. And that is a problem that is basically seen all over the country. Um, Springfield is not unique in that regard, but nonetheless, Springfield is affected by that. We are seeing a very high level of demand from buyers because of low interest rates um, and people who, because of the COVID pandemic, have been able to work remotely and now can live, in some cases, anywhere they want to. Springfield, as all of us who live there know, is a very desirable place to live. And there are a lot of potential buyers that are aware of that as the word gets out about the neighborhood. And so demand remains very, very high. Inventory is low. As of the time of this recording, there are only 16 active listings of houses for sale in the Springfield neighborhood, period, regardless of condition. So a very acute problem indeed. So what does that mean for you as a seller? Well, it means that this is probably one of the best times to sell that you could possibly imagine. Super high demand, prices are increasing as a result of the super high demand and the limited inventory. From the perspective of being a seller, it means that if you put your house on the market, you're not competing with a lot of other houses right now. So uh, those things combined make for a very, very auspicious time to sell your home. The problem that a lot of sellers are seeing is that that's all fine and well, but once you sell your home, you become a buyer if you're going to be buying something else. And then you're thrust into sort of the same conundrum that a lot of buyers are facing right now with the low levels of inventory. So sellers are in some cases reluctant to sell because they are afraid of becoming buyers. We are affiliated with what's called a knock home swap program, which kind of helps take uh, some of the concerns that I've just described of a seller becoming a buyer off the table. This video isn't really about that, but I'll be talking about that in more detail in an upcoming video. Certainly feel free to reach out to me with questions about that, but it's a program that allows you as a seller to look for and buy a home before selling your house, in some cases before putting your house on the market. So it eliminates that risk, that fear of selling your home and not having any place to go. So, all of that is well and good, but what does it mean for you as a Springfield home seller? These low inventory levels, these low interest rates, surging buyer interest, what does it all mean for you? Well, if you are a homeowner in the Springfield neighborhood right now, you are contemplating selling, it means a higher likely price for your home. So to give you an example, if we look at the last six month period uh, from today, and today is the 15th of April back to the 15th of October of last year, 2020, um, we've had 15 properties sell in Springfield over 400,000. The same year over year comparison for the year prior. So that would be October of 2019 to April of 2020. We had three houses that sold for over 400,000. So I think that speaks volumes about the type of economy, the type of real estate market that we're in right now and how that translates into your interest as a homeowner. It's a direct benefit for you as a homeowner who may be contemplating selling in the market that we're finding ourselves in right now. Listen guys, I'm happy to talk about this in further detail. I'm happy to speak with you one-on-one -on -one if you have any specific questions about the real estate market, if you have any specific questions about historic Springfield. Give me a call, I'm happy to help, and I would love the opportunity to speak with you about your own unique and personal situation. Take care, everybody. Until the next video, I'll see you soon, unless I see you in the neighborhood first. Take care.